sold, and this is the spousal equivalent game. The quote-unquote married couples game show that doesn't care whether you have a penis or a vagina or two penises or two vaginas or if you have a penis and want a vagina, I think you get the picture. Anyway, if you're in love, you get to compete for prizes. And who doesn't want to be competing for prizes, huh? Yeah. By meeting our couple from Washington, D.C., it's Emily and Liz. Hi, Emily. Hi, Liz. Hey, Hi. guys. And from Orlando, Florida, it's Donald and Robert. Hi, guys. Hi, Judy. So great to meet you. I uh, can't believe gay people in Florida. I never heard of that. Now, the reason you guys are in different places is because not only are you not supposed to hear each other's answers, but we can't afford a studio or apparently work. Thank you. Anyway, welcome. Are you excited? Yeah, we're excited. Yeah, excited. All right, you guys, you wait till you see what you win. Woo! Whoa! All right. It's time to play our game, so pay attention, because we've crammed a 23-minute game show into just under eight minutes, which really is not that amazing when you think that Jody Foster crammed a whole lifetime into a closet, you know? Anyway, <laughs> what? what do you say we tell how well our couples know each other, and which is the perfect match? What did you do on your first date? Oh, yeah. So, you don't have 45 minutes to answer the question. I see you thinking. Okay, so go ahead, Robert. Let's see. What did you, what did you and Donald do? You slept at oh, where? Parliament yeah. House. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eric the yeah. Red goes to Parliament House because oh. he's a big oh. hey, He slept at Parliament House. What is Parliament House? It's a big gay resort. Oh, it's a gay resort. Yeah! You just wrote slept together. Well, I guess you didn't know where you were. Yeah. All right, I guess we're going to give some each the point for that. Yeah. Uh, Liz, uh, Liz, let's see. Went to Ruby Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. Went out to eat with another couple. You went to Ruby Tuesdays on your first date? <laughs> We're college students. Come on. Go <laughs> together. Very romantic. We're gonna give it to you, but please don't have your wedding at Friday. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Question number two: Which of you is the most level-headed? Got it. Half a second. To write the answer down. <laughs> All right. We are going to start with Emily. Which is more, which more level-headed, you or Liz? You are, Emily. And Liz, what did you say? Dad! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Great! You each got a point! Woo! You have two points now. That's amazing. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Dr. Ricky Tuesday. Get some, uh, what are those things? Huh? Anyway... Donald, we're going to ask you uh, first, who is more level-headed, you or Robert? Robert is, and Robert, who did you say? Robert! Oh, my God! Who is the family member you both hate the most? Go ahead, and it can't be my brother-in-law. Donald? Uh, I hate this. Nikki! I knew it! She is such a bitch! Whatever! Robert? <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question. How old is Emily's granddad, and what the fuck did he do to you? <laughs> it's time for round two. Ready? Ready. Now, you, this, in this round, it's my favorite, where each spouse will guess which celebrity his or her better half most wants to sleep with. Now, we all play that game, don't we? Because we get bored after about, you know, three, four months. Now, this is called our tasteless hump or dump round. Right? Emily. If she had to choose between model Naomi Campbell 
or actress Naomi Watts, who would Liz hump and who would Liz dump? Let's see who she would hump. Take your time. What's the guy? What's the first one's name? What? How old are you, Naomi Campbell? People, because you're 13. <laughs> Naomi Campbell or Naomi Watts? Emily? Yeah. <laughs> Naomi Campbell. You went hump, Naomi Campbell. Liz, what did you say? Uh, Naomi whatever. <laughs> okay, that would be zero points for you. The queens are in the lead. It's between Al Gore and Al Bundy. Who will Donald Trump? Al Gore or Al Bundy? Okay, Robert. He would hump Al Bundy. Al Bundy. And uh, Donald, what did you say? Al Bundy. Oh. Al oh, my God. How long have you guys been together? 23 years. Boys. Oh. 58. And in case now time, what is that? 158? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Liz, Liz, you've got to catch up. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, you're going to tell us who Emily would hump and who she would dump. Okay. Is it Martha Stewart or Martha Washington? And just so you know, I always heard that Martha Washington was wild in the bedroom. In fact, she was known to say that George's teeth weren't the only wood he had. All right, so, which Martha would Emily pick? Let's, all right, Martha Washington. Listen. All right. Emily said Martha Washington. That is so awesome. Is he more likely to do Alex Rodriguez, also known as A-Rod, which you probably don't know because you're gay, or is he going down on Dark Jeter? Who's Humpty and who's Dumpty, okay? Alex? Rodriguez or Derek Jeter, okay? Donald? That's a tough one. I like them both. I bet you do. Derek Jeter! Wow! And who'd you say, Robert? Derek yeah. Jeter! And yeah. of course he goes better, but that's fine, because we know you're a big baseball fan. Alright, so the lesbians are losing. But that all can change in our final round. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Now that you've gotten a wee bit acquainted with each other, it's time to answer questions about your opponent. Now, these are things you couldn't possibly know the answers to since you know nothing about each other's lives, not unlike the bigots we encounter every day. So in other words, couples, you're guessing, okay? This is our didn't ask, didn't tell speed round. Donald and Rob are going to go first. Now, who's going to be your designated guesser, Donald or Robert? Yeah, I will. You will, Donald? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you're going to have 30 seconds. Answer as many of these as you can correctly. And the 30 seconds will start right can I ask, can now. I ask a question? Okay. Donald, Emily's favorite song is Frank Sinatra's All of Me. True or false? False. What does Liz drive? A Subaru Outback or a Nissan Versa? Nissan. That is correct. She is a bad lesbian. True or false? Liz's favorite reality show is Keeping Up with the Kardashians. False. That is correct. It's Dance Mom. Which is Emily's favorite cocktail? Would it be scotch and soda or rum and coke? Yeah. Rum and coke. That is correct. Hi. Let's do it. All right, you have 30 seconds. You can totally tie this up or win, okay? And the 30 seconds will start right now. Whose favorite color is purple? Is it Robert or Donald? Robert. Is Donald's favorite musical Lion King or Jersey Boys? Jersey Boys. That is correct. True or false? Robert's middle name is Henry. True. That is correct, and that's also my older son's name. Who went to the University of Colorado, Donald or Robert? Oh, Donald. Take your time. No, that would be Robert. Hi. Eight to five. So oh, wait. God, the lesbians have eight. No. Was it Emily? No. I mean, the lesbians have eight. Emily and our gay male couple, Donald and Robert. You guys are the winners! <laughs> Uh -oh. All right, I'm okay. excited. I couldn't compete with you. Have won. You have won one round-trip airfare anywhere in the country. Yes, I said one, courtesy of Orbit. 
This way, you know, you can send some much needed me time away from each other. <laughs> I'm going. Or, I'm, I'm going. going. Bye, Robert. Bye, Robert. Uh, now, did all of you know that Orbit supports marriage equality everywhere? Everywhere. And they support the demise of the Defense of Marriage Act. So thank you, Orbit. Next yeah. time you buy tickets, where are you going to buy them from? Orbit. Yes. Orbit. That's right. Orbit. All right. Did you have fun today? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing the special equivalent game. I hope no one breaks up. Thank you for watching. I'm Judy Gold, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks, Judy. Bye. Thank you. Now, you can watch another episode of the Spousal equivalent game right now. And don't forget to check out some of the other great shows on Quiz, like Miss Richfield 1981, which isn't as good as mine, but whatever. And make sure to like favorite and share this video. Come on. I ca Look, I have two kids to feed. I can't deal with this shit. You know what I mean?